Almost set for evening baseball from Great American Park in Cincinnati. Tonight, it's a matchup from the NL Central between the Chicago Cubs and the Cincinnati Reds. These two should provide some big-time fireworks. First pitch is coming up. Luis Castillo gets the start for Cincinnati in this one. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Hey, you could tell by this strikeout to walk ratio, two to one, that this guy is more a pitch to contact guy than a strikeout walk guy. Standing in, Kyle Schwarber, and we are set for baseball Leading here this evening. The, Cubs, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Underway now on a Friday night as the first pitch of our series misses for ball one. And guys, as we take a look at the Reds entering play here tonight, they dropped another one last time out, and in fact, they've won just first twice pitch. in their last Seven eight tries. Ten. Yeah, Maddie, these players got in their cars today to drive to the stadium, focused on one thing. Not who was going to be the hero, just the fact that they needed a W and that one of their teammates, whether it's them or someone else, has to come up with a big knock. Expected to get a little cooler as we go on, but the temperature at game time, 68 degrees. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Hits it high and deep out to center field. Shebler racing back. That one is gone! What a way to lead off a ball game. A solo home run for Kyle Schwarber, number 35 now on the season. And the Cubs are on the board first, one to nothing. Well, this has started off certainly quick. First batter of the game goes deep. Dare I say, ambush tactics? So striding forward now, Chris Bryant. Lifetime against this particular arm. He's three Chris for nine. Bryant. First delivery to him on the way. Swing and a miss on a ball inside, 0 and 1. So let's take a peek at our umpiring crew in this one. Behind the plate is Clyde Washington. You know, D-Row, he is a pitcher's best friend, Clyde Washington. Down in the strike zone, he'll definitely call that ball right at the knees. If he's consistent with it, Dan, which Clyde always is, I'm okay with it. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. And that's swung on and missed, so good work on the mound will take care of the National League's leading hitter, and there's one away. With that, a look at the Cubbies' starting, starting lineup. Thoughts, Dan, who stands out? 44. Well, you know, the key for this Anthony. ball club has been Jason Hayward. He had over 20 runs batted in last month. Very consistent. A solid month, and I love watching him swing the bat. It looks like the focus and concentration is even better when he has runners in scoring position. Into the box, Anthony Rizzo. He enters this one second in the National League round trip category. You know, Matty, when I think of this guy, I think of damage near the league leaders in RBIs as well, d -Row. That's the stat that I think gets overlooked so much in today's game. I remember back to Chipper Jones. He used to say, how many biscuits can you put in a basket? Runs and ribbies. And he oh. certainly has a knack for oh, being no. able to drive okay. in that big run. One out, nobody on. Chuano now. The 2 0 on the way. I had him guessing that time as he's barely able to foul it away. The 2 1. Is strike two swinging. Swing and a miss on the changeup, and there are two gone. 
My man on the mound has just got great strikeout stuff working for him these days. That looking back at his last start, he shot. racked up nine up Ks, there. and now he's oh, looking yeah. like he could put up similar numbers in this one. So bases are empty here with two gone, and into bat next, the versatile weapon Javier Baez. First pitch on its way. Line drive to center field. Shebler is going to have room out there as he puts this away to retire the side. But another look here at the solo shot leading off the ball game. On to the bottom of the first, and the Cubs have an early 1 0 lead. Cole Hamels is the man towing the rubber for the Cubs in this one. Dan, any thoughts? Hey, when you look up the word dependability in the dictionary, that's what this guy, you'll find a picture of this guy. Career ERA just under 3.5, and that's saying quite a lot in the high-scoring games that we see in baseball going on right now. Real solid pitcher, controls the running game, controls the strike zone, and more importantly, he knows how to get deep into the 6th, 7th, and 8th inning. Solid pitcher, and he'll be fun to watch in this one here today. Line drive to left. Schwarber is there and he makes the catch for the out. Time now for a look at the hometown Red second. starting lineup the card in this one. Who do you have your Number eye on, Dan? Yeah, there's no doubt they really need Joey Votto to bust out big time. In the last 10 games, he's hitting under 250. He's a guy they need to hit a lot better than that because he's a big part of this ball club. Stepping up now, Nick Senzel. And as you can see, he's had some troubles here in his own ballpark. That's something he'll look to improve upon in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. There's the fastball that gets the lower part of the zone called for a strike. Well, guys, as we look at the Cubs coming into play here tonight, they've had it go in the last 10 games. They're 7 and 3 over that stretch, including a win last time out. Yeah, Maddie, this team has been playing really well right now. And, and, and this is case in point. Chance to jump out again to another 1 0 lead. They've really been doing that. They've been on attack, early offensive. Almost oh, and he misses it. And he'll reach second now with one away. That was not a good pitch, but he handled it nicely, guys. Yeah, and the pitcher's that got to third. wonder what he has to the do to get it past this guy. Hey, you, that hey, pitch was go. off the plate, but he showed oh, great yeah. reach, gets good extension, and drives it for a two-bagger. Standing in now, Eugenio Suarez, as he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. Senzel leads off second with one gone in the inning. 0-2, the count to Suarez. Working for the punch out and the offering. Stays alive, still 0-2. When you have two strikes on you as a hitter if you get something that you can handle you have to find a way to do some damage with it. That was a missed opportunity and he struck him out. Batting four. The right fielder. So striding in Aristides Aquino as he'll look to bring home that tying run from second with a base hit into the outfield. First pitch coming here it is. Laid off the bender there, but it's in for a called strike. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. He certainly hasn't been the aggressor in this at bat. Two straight takes, so now we'll see if he can change his approach and battle up. The 0 2. Got him looking, and that ends the inning. Back to back strikeouts keep him out of danger. We're back from Cincinnati after this. Here's the young catcher, Wilson Contreras. First at bat for him as he enters play number three in the National League batting race. This season really shouldn't come as a surprise to many. We all know what kind of skill this guy produces when he has a bat in his hands. First delivery to him on the way. 
tried to check it, and it's 0-1. 0-1. Oh and he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control, 0-2. Oh hey, back when I first broke into the big leagues, a lot of the pitchers wanted to work east to west. Now, with such an uptick in velocity, these guys are working north-south. That's just a great elevated fastball with serious velocity on it. The one-two. He is swung on and missed. He got him. Okay, here's how the Reds are lining up in this one. And let's focus good. our attention on the one of the most dynamic defenders in our sport, and that's shortstop Jose Iglesias. I want to tell one of our camera guys, do not take your lens off this guy because he is going to make a highlight reel play every game, and I guarantee something goes down today. Striding in, Jason Hayward having a very nice year, currently second in the NL batting chase. There's no way you could have forecasted this kind of season from this guy. Not to take anything away from him, but I don't think many people in baseball considered him to be one of the league's best hitters for average coming into this year. One and oh, the count. with the 1-1 pitch. Grounded back up the middle. Iglesias is up with it. And there's out number two. Batting seven. The second baseman. Addison Russell. Digging in. Addison Russell for his career in this matchup. He's just one for six. Here's the first pitch to him. They'll try and entice him with a high fastball, but he wouldn't commit. It's ball one. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. Side two and one. Two ball, one strike. Swing and there it goes. He got all of this one. Into the upper deck and gone. A solo home run for Addison Russell. Home run number 16 for him on the year as the Cubs are out in front now two to nothing. Well he's definitely off to a shaky start tonight giving up two home runs in two innings. The good news is they were both solo shots. The bad news is the rest of the lineup is salivating the dugout waiting for their chance to face him. Batting eight. And now here's the, the versatile field outfielder ball, Albert Almora Albert. Jr. As the Almora. first pitch misses to him, it's ball one. He'll work on keeping this top of the second alive. Uh, his eyes lit up on that one above the zone, but he comes up empty. Hey, I get it. You're all in fastball. You're pulling the trigger at almost anything. That is way too high. He's going to have to lower his sights. The 1-1. One, one. Misses. Ball two. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Almora with an even count, two and two. The two-two. 
is looked at for ball three. Started to go around, but it's a called third strike anyway, and that will retire the side. Cubs get a run here thanks to this solo home run. We'll go to the bottom of the second. It's now 2 0 Chicago. Now at the plate, Scott Shevlin. We we'll show you what he did in May versus what he's done so far at the plate in June. Hey, we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs, but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. No balls in one strike. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Hey, this is the game within the game right here. The hitter has to decide if he's going to change his game plan. Is he going to stay staunch and wait for him to miss over the heart of the plate or inside, or is he going to adjust his sights and try and drive the ball the other way? And a changeup swung on and missed for the first out. Okay, here's how the Cubbies are lining up defensively. And guys, the thing that I want you to six. take a look at today first base, is in today's game, the Go new away. age, everyone wants to move around. This oh, manager no. does not like to shift a lot. Maybe a step to your right or left, but there's a lot of trust that the pitchers are going to execute. So let's see how it works out for them in this one. In is Joey Votto now. Previously against Cole Hamels, he's got five base hits in 23 at-bats. He's taken him deep once. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Yeah. Upper part of the zone there, but taken for a strike. He might want that pitch back up and away. That's a pitch you can really drive if you have the right approach towards that opposite field gap. Into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. And he oh. takes this one high, 1 and 1. Votto is a player referred to as clutch by teammates, coaches, and of course the media. He seems to find himself in pressure situations often, and it's hard to find many instances where those moments have gotten the best of him. It just appears he really relishes the big spot. The 2 1 home. Softly hit toward the hole. And he'll step on first for the out. Three unassisted. Batting seven. No left fielder. Number 34. In now for the Reds. Number 34. It was a two for four effort for him in Wednesday's game. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fastball taken, but that gets the zone for a strike. Two out, nobody on. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. Hamels ready with the 1-1. One, one. Now a fastball that just misses here as the count moves to 2-1. and one. I know the umpire balled that one right there. But it was close enough. He's going to try and establish that pitch in. As an offensive player, you've got to build that rapport with the umpire. He can't give him anything off the inside half of the plate. Hamels into the windup. Here's the 3 1. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Giving chase is Elmora. He's there to make the play, and that'll retire the side. Reds are down in order. They trail things here 2 to nothing. Nine, one, and two do a pick. One of the keys to securing a win. They want to keep the pressure on and try to build that lead as much as they can moving into the later innings. Softly hit to the left side. Throw to first in time, and the leadoff man is gone to start the third. And with one away, let's give you a look at the standings in the NL Central entering play as you see where these two teams sit in relation to one another. So one away 
here with the bases empty. And next, it'll be the left-handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. It'll be interesting to see if they use that changeup in this at-bat. That last at-bat, that was a changeup he hit for a home run. I'm going to see if this time they don't go to more fastballs and curveballs. Strike one to start the at-bat. A one count. Here's the pitch. And a fastball one and one. just misses. It's one and one. One and two now. If you're going to catch up to a high fastball like that, it's all about getting that front foot down in enough time to allow your hands to start moving forward. He was way too late there. Hit sharply on the ground. Backhanded. Throw on to first will get him. Score at 5-3 on the putout, though it looked more like a 6-3 to three ground ball. But nevertheless, there are two away now. Right. So two are gone now in the Cubs half of the third. And into bat next, former National League MVP Chris Bryant. First pitch coming. Here it is. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. He's certainly done an amazing job right here, grinding to get early two outs with the number two hitter and the middle of the order lurking. He would love to see three, four, five with no one on base next inning. The wind up and the 0 1. Lays oh. off the circle change there, a ball and a strike. Check swing, no swing, says the home plate umpire. Ball two. Boy, a check swing on a pitch way out of the zone. Just held up, but boy, as a pitcher, you're hoping that he swings at that one. Bryant looking at a three and one count. Anthony Rizzo would be next. The three one. Swung on and lifted in the air to left center. Left fielder giving chase. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. Three up, three down for the Cubs, as they're unable to add to their 2-0 lead. Welcome back as the Reds look to get the offense going in the third, and this is a lineup that has had its struggles this season. One coach told me before the game, there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively, but first and foremost, we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game. And the stats do back that up, as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts. So that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward, guys. All right, thanks, Heidi. Leading off, striding into the box, Kirk Casale. And he comes into Kirk. this one having hit safely Kirk. in his last Valley. five games. Here's the first pitch to him. Huh. Dangerous curveball that time, but laid off as it drops into the top of the zone. Huh. Circle change in a beauty. It's 0 and 2. He'll take the fastball here inside off the plate. It's one and two. The one two. And it's fouled away. The one two. Is looked at for ball number two. That curveball is a pitch you have to get on top of, or else it'll take off just like that one did. Here's one that misses inside, and the counts run full now. Three and two. 
you do not want to walk the eight hole hitter. It just opens up so many options. Do we bunt them over to second with the nine hole hitter? Do we try and play for that big rally with the top of the order coming up? This is a huge pitch. You can't allow this guy to walk. And he connects with it. This one's hit deep out to left center field. But he's going to haul this one in on the run as he winds up just shy of the wall for the first no down. Picture. Well, it's still early, really? but it's also worth noting Not that he'd be in go. line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he in fact leads the NL in that category. So one gone now in the Cincinnati third. And digging into hit next, it'll be the pitcher, Luis Castillo. He's ready. Here's the first offering. A ball of no strikes against left handed pitching so far this season. Castillo is a sub 100 hitter but that's not all that uncommon for pitchers of course. He'd be the first to tell you he's not happy with his batting average this season but he can beat you in a variety of different ways and he has to because he wouldn't the be here otherwise. Shortstop. Okay. Iglesias. Here's the shortstop now Jose Iglesias two away in the inning and Dan it looks like this could be another one two three inning for him. Yeah he has really found a groove on the mound and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. Ready to deliver here's the first pitch. Just able to get a piece of that for strike one. Line toward the alley in left center. Schwarber is there and he'll make the catch to retire the side. One, two, three, go the Reds. They trail it here, two to nothing. Anthony Rizzo stands in now. He'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth. Number 44, Anthony Rizzo. Outfield shaded toward right center. Here's the first pitch. And that's cut on and missed 0 and 1. 0 and 1. Drilled right back up the middle. And a base hit. So the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Matty, that's a surprising pitch right there. I don't the understand after not. blowing a fastball by him, he would speed his up bat there. up with off-speed. Yeah, redemption after being late right on time with the off-speed pitch next. Here's Javier Baez as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Baez has had a great season to this point and heading into today he's received the most all star votes among shortstops in the league. Yeah Maddie not surprised this guy is on the top of the all star game phony but you have to take a step back. This is being voted on by the fans so I can't imagine how he feels to be voted in by his fans to start in the all star game right now. Number 44 is there and he makes the catch for the out. So with the, the fly out there coming four. on the fastball Wilson. seems like an appropriate time Incredible. to check out our pitch speed comparison for these two starters. And whoa look at that for a top speed 98 miles an hour. That man is flat dealing. So in now for Chicago Wilson Contreras looking to put the ball in play here. He went down on strikes in his first at bat. Yeah and kind of shocked he got blown away with a fastball. You could tell he was late on that one and we'll see if he tries to cheat to something this A.B. First delivery to him on the way popped him up. Therefore it is Votto two away now. Now batting the right fielder Jason Hayward. So a runner at first with two away and that will bring up the multi gold glover Jason Hayward. Ready with the first pitch here it comes. 
down the first baseline. On to the bag with it himself is Bato, and the inning is over. Cubs strand one. They're up two to nothing. Trying to pick things up where he left off. Leading Nick Senzel, for one for one as he baseman. reached base with a double Number his first 15. time up. And that's been their only hit so far in this one. They've been dealing with some really great pitching in this game. First offering on its way. And there's the fastball by Hamels. Good for strike one. A swinging strike, and now it's 0-2. Senzel. A native of Georgia. He's in his rookie year here at the big league level. Here it comes 0 and 2. And he got him. All right so time now for the Cubs Number road to the show seven. report as we see a couple of prospects who have been performing at a Whoa, high level right. in the upper minors. So the bases are empty with one man gone and into the batter's box next a guy who's developed into one of the big time power hitters in the league a Eugenio Suarez and he'll take strike one on the fastball registering at ninety three that time. Into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 and a pitch in the dirt as he lays off it's one and one. Swings through it for strike number two. Oh, and he can't catch up to the fastball as he swings and misses for the second out. No better way to minimize the potential damage a cleanup hitter can do than to strike out number both guys 44. in front of him. Always a confidence boost when you can sit down the guys at the top of the lineup. Stepping in now, Aristides Aquino. As the first pitch to him is in there for a called strike one. He'll attempt to put the ball in play for a change here with the first two guys going down on strikes to start the inning. Hamels peers in. Here's the 0-1. This now is hit the second. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? You bet he does. 11 in a row set down. And the inning is over. Reds are down in order. They're down two to nothing. And Russell he's in to get things going here at inning number five yeah that last at bat daddy he turned that fastball around he didn't hit it a ton he didn't hit it a country mile but hey listen a home run is a home run and a half hearted swing there as he tried to go the other way and it's strike one hey he gets a pass right there for that ugly swing he's been having a monster season take a step out of the box regroup he'll get right back in this AB nothing in one count here it comes. Got him to go after that one, and he's in a quick hold. 0 and 2. Russell, a native Floridian, he was selected in the first round during the first year player draft of 2012. You know, I know this guy isn't the superstar everyone thought he was going to be when he was drafted in those high rounds, but he has had a solid big league career. Wow, that's a tough pitch to take. 0 2 fastball just off the corner, and I mean just off the corner. And he'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Well, he kind of got caught chasing the first two pitches out of the strike zone, but I think he's caught on to their game a little bit right now. Two tough pitches that he took with two strikes, and now the count is two and two. Oh, this one bounces off the pitcher, and they'll have no play as he reaches first base safely. And time now to the see quite where Albert that Paul. got him. And it appeared Albert. from up here at least, Albora. and his actions on the field confirm it. It looked like it got him on his drive leg, which could be problematic, of course, for him. But from the way he's trying to walk it off, I think he's going to try to continue. Now with the plate, Albert Almora. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Yeah, Maddie, and hopefully he got it out of his system. Especially now, he's got to bear down. He gets the two strikes in this spot. 
has to put the ball in play. This is hit high in the air out toward left center. Left fielder has a beat on it. He's got it one away. Up next for the Cubs, the pitcher, Cole Hamill. At the plate, Cole Hamels. Becomes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0 and 1. Tries to get the bunt down here, but this is foul, and we'll see if he tries it again. Hoping to send him packing, pitch on its way. And now a two strike bunt attempt here as this one's down. To second for one, on to first, but not in time as he beats it out. The batter, the left fielder, Kyle Schwarber. Back to the top of the order now. And next, it'll be the left handed power threat, Kyle Schwarber. First pitch on its way. Swing and a miss that time. It's 0-1. Great execution of that changeup right there. Great arm action. Batter was totally out front on that one. Hamels, the runner at first with two gone. One and one oh. to Schwarber. And the reason he's working away so much here is because he's got that big hole on the right side of the infield to worry about with the first baseman holding the runner on. It's always smart to pitch into the defense you have behind you. He's set. Here comes the one one Ball two. two and one. away and he's getting his money's worth up there now it's full three and two all right three two count with two outs the runner on first will be moving so we'll see what happens there are a lot of possible outcomes with this kind of play. Fouled off. The payoff pitch one more time. And this one misses here. A close pitch on three and two, but Clyde Washington rules it ball four. He did not want now to let the hitter off the hook the with two outs, and now he's got a runner in scoring position to deal with. Ready once again, Chris Bryant. He flew out in his last at bat. Almost, Matty. Almost went deep his last AB. Certainly just missed it. With this guy's big power, he's feeling pretty good at the dish. Look for him to try and get on something and drive it out of the yard this AB. Trying to hang a zero. Here's the pitch. In tight here with the first pitch fastball that's 1 and 0. And now the Reds are going to get the bullpen moving here, and it's a lefty and a right handed up and throwing. Two runs, four hits. No errors so far for the Cubbies.
grounded up the first baseline. But this will get foul. It's a ball and two strikes. Here's the one and two. And it's two balls and two strikes now. Didn't catch the corner there, but you can see he was trying to jam him with that running action on that two-seam fastball. The 2-2. Two -two. And he fouls this one off. Two down, runners at first and second. Got him swinging, and that will end the inning. Cubs strand a couple, but they hold a 2-0 lead. And back in Cincinnati as we check in with Heidi Watney. Matt, I had a chance to talk about the state of the Reds' offense with their manager between innings, and he told me, overall, he's not happy with the at-bats they're putting together. They've only managed one base runner in this game, so it's easy to see why he said they haven't shown much fight today. He's hoping to see someone step up and find a way to get something going, though. This game isn't out of hand, so it remains to be seen if they can snap out of this funk and climb back into this one. All right, Heidi, thank you. For the Reds. And that brings up Scott Shebler. He'll lead it off here against Cole Hamels. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. Line drive to left, but this will be pulled in out there in left center. Well hit, but a rough out number one. A little bit over halfway the home tonight, base. bottom of the fifth, as Go we get a look at our line score to this point. Oh, no. And boy, just one hit for these guys, and they have not swung the bats well. That's putting it mildly. Digging in to try it again, Joey Votto. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Here comes the first pitch. Hit hard on the ground towards second. Russell has it on the first, and Votto's gone for out number two. Now batting, number 34. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number 34 comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ballgame. Here's the first pitch to him. A ball oh, and no strikes. Well, he's done a great job on the hill throughout this game, and it's something to be proud of anytime you can pitch a good game in this ballpark, especially when it's not your home ballpark. And a good heater as he just watches this baby, a ball and a strike. Now the one and one pitch. Oh, not fooled there as this ball's hammered out to deep right field. That's his first base hit, making one for two now. And he'll make it to second base now with two gone. Dan, after that base hit now right there, he's got a six-game hitting streak Come. going. You know what? And this could Come. be this could Dally. lead him on to something, some bigger and better things right here. He's been swinging the bat pretty well, and he's been rewarded for it as you talked about. Six-game hitting streak so far. Hamels comes set. Here's the first pitch. Line to the right side. But a foul ball. No runs, two hits, and no errors in the game for Cincinnati thus far. Hard liner to center field. And he'll get there in plenty of time to put this one away, and that ends the inning. Danger averted following the two-out double. We're back to Friday Night Baseball on the show after this.